Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I teach you really basic tools in Cinema 4D R20. So guys, I create small animation. So I take spare and I go to display, shall I got shading lines. Guys, increase segments. I take like 125 and type change. I take ISO, right? And now guys, I take random effector. So I go to more graph effector and I take random this one. Guys select this random and connect with spare, right? See guys, this is effector parameter deformer. It's same as a R 1819, right? Old version. The change is only fall off. So, so firstly guys, I go to deformer and you can change deformer like point, right? Okay, now go to fall off and guys see this is my shapes field of objects right and you can take this time guys I take a spherical field this one yes see right I show you see guys this is my spherical field right Guys, you can change parameter. So I go to parameter and position take 0, 0. Only take Z angle. I take like 100 increase. So select this spherical field and angle like this. See guys. Right. It's really basic. Now, guys, I create small animation. So spherical field go on here and I go to chord like and position take 200 actually increase like minus 220 and check and now guys I go to 50 frame and go on here right and press this animation key see guys it's really simple right okay I increase frame like 100 and now guys select this random and I again I go to fall off see guys I take spherical field and second thing go on clamp and see guys this is my some effectors right this formula delay and curve now this time I take delay yes and this my delay is smooth yeah that's great guys you can change mode so go to mode and I take spring see right it's really different if I go to smooth again okay better than is spring better spring yeah right okay guys all is good right and now guys I apply materials I show you how to apply two materials on here so guys select this pair and make editable click on here and see right Okay, now guys, I apply some tags. So right click on spare, go to character tags and use this one. Yay, this one, tension, right? And guys, increase amount like 50, 50, right? And stretch map, this one, this is my stretch map and click make map check see guys this is my tag right go to back and play right and now guys again I go to here and fix tension check and play show you see see guys this is my now two materials it's like yellow one is gold 
and red one is silver right so stop guys i apply material i go on create and load material see guys this is my material you can download from my website and open guys apply silver and gold material right okay guys i create two materials but guys this is not correct so go on open gold material this one open and i create alpha material alpha click on alpha and texture and i go to effector and use vertex map this one vertex map and click on vertex map and guys this is tag apply on vertex map yeah and close this material editor and play yes see guys now i apply two effect material inner side is golden and outer is silver right okay now guys i create more smoothness so i apply subdivision surface this one select this pair and make child with subdivision surface and go on back and play guys system really getting slow little bit yes that's really better okay guys my animation is finished now i apply lights so guys i use only sky use sky and see guys this is my hdr image this one and apply reapply texture this is my hdr image and open and guys blurness offset is 10% so close apply on sky yeah right and guys take camera and camera back guys select this camera and all rotation take 0 0 and position change and like minus 600 yeah okay guys we don't need this background so you can hide background so stop guys go on sky right click on sky cinema 4d tag and use compositing this one and go on compositing tag and scene by camera uncheck yeah that's good and play see guys right that's my animation great okay guys my animation is finished so go to render setting guys go to effect ambient occlusion global illumination and anti select best that's it save format i use jpeg sequences go to desktop create folder like renders and output use full frame this one and frame range use all right guys my setting is there so close and render right see okay guys my animation tutorial cinema 4d r20 basic is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you